So what today's video is about is we're going to talk about how every guild right now is just really not really thrilled with the GOTB and we're doing all, I mean, did you do a poll in your guild where you had to decide between Hoth or Geo? I, we did in ours and we actually ended up choosing uh, going Geo. What about you? I actually don't know. I don't really partake too much in the inner guild discussions. I just kind of go with whatever everyone else is uh, better off doing. But I know I've seen comments in regards to it that, uh, man, we're not sure if it's worth going into GOTB because it's going to put you behind on the most exclusive currency in Galaxy of Heroes. And what's that, mobile gamer? Uh, the, the get, oh, get one tokens for, get uh, one Sky token. yeah, get one tokens for Skywalker and Malik. So, yeah. um, here's the thing is, and we're going to talk about this because this is kind of a mess, right? Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's hard and, and I don't want to complain about the difficulty. My, my complaint is, is mostly about just how much GP is required for, uh, you know, because most of the GP comes from your roster, not even finishing the battles or the difficulty of right. the battles. It has mm -hmm. to do with that. So, um, first things first, I just want to say for you and I are in a different situation where yeah. we just pretty much want to do the, the Genosis Republic Offensive. We would just want to do light side GOTB to make videos because it's right, fun and it's new. It. I mean, yeah. it has nothing to do with the math and we're going to look at the math and see why it's a mess because really I need to get uh, gas General Skywalker as high as possible. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. the most effective way to do that is to go back to Hoth. And, right. and this is like a legitimate thing. Like, um, well, look at this post right here. This, I mean, uh, you know, th that, that we've got basically the escape whale podcast. So, uh, these are basically the only people that are communicating with capital games right now, as far as I know. Like yeah, uh, them and the galactic war report, those two gr groups have uh, basically gotten all the big reveals this year. Yeah, and, they're, and it's like they're mm -hmm. almost like starting like a little movement. Hashtag yeah, back I to Hoth. That. You know what I mean? Like right there, you know, it's well, like a protest. Yeah, like a protest. Now, we we our guild voted and we're going to to Geo uh, mm, TB, okay. but uh, you can't see. I'll pull the screen up here and so you can see it, too. But basically, uh, the, the, the math is OK. So, like, let's say we get. 10 stars in GOTB, which I don't know. Maybe last That's time we were only able tough. to get four, right? You know, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I mean, not, let's just go with a high number, like 10, right? Mm -hmm. 300 crystals, and, and then get two, we're going to get 3,800, and get one, we're going to get 4,100. So 3,800 and 4,100 versus if we went Hoth, and, you know, we can get max on that, and, and it's actually just deploy, you know, it's not, right. not anything, right? You know, it's, it's like, I'm terrorism Browse is mostly a mathematics game. It's really like, once you know you're within a certain math range, you kind of know what stars you're going to get. And of course the battles add their own thing on top of it. Right. And so, uh, you know, more crystals, basically, uh, 500 crystals instead of 300 crystals. Now this is mm -hmm. where the big difference is in, uh, the get to 800 versus 3850, but then here's the horrible news is 7900 versus 4100. So what does that mean? <laughs> Means that Grievous Ship versus General Skywalker, I mean, technically for me, I should have voted for Hoth Rebel Assault, yeah. but I voted because for- Because you're an uh, egotistical YouTuber, you care about only yourself, and that's why you want the GOTV. <laughs> well, it's a new shiny toy. I mean, maybe right, after- Right, right, You know, I want to go through all the phases and see how horrible it is. I mean- Exactly, same here, yeah. I, I really want to see how terrible it is. I want to complain. I want to say this is the worst <laughs> thing ever. They don't know what they're doing. No, I'm just kidding. But I mean, it's like, um, like here's the thing is they, they did, they kind of drew a line in the sand and said, Hey, we're not going to fix Stick this. It to our guns. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what did they, they said it here on this post is we like, will not be changing or returning to difficulty for a public offensive. Boom. They're just keeping it there. I think the only, uh, I think they said this on a podcast or something. Basically they were saying, uh, unless the numbers tell them otherwise, they're not going to retune it. So the only way to change their numbers is if everyone just goes after hot territory battles and stays away from Genos' territory battles. Maybe that'll encourage capital games uh, to change their mind. That was basically kind of what they were saying in a right. very indirect way. It sounded like on their uh, Galactic War Report thing they were on. I, I just want to go through it one time all the way through because yeah. it was canceled. Like, I want to know how difficult is Cam? How, how hard is that mission? Is yeah, I want to see Yeah. Alpha? 
Yeah. yeah. But I'll tell you this, if it's nuts, I'm not going to want to do it again. Not a yeah, second time. Like, I, yeah, but no, I do no, want no. one attempt all the way through mm -hmm. just to check yeah. it out. And and something they said in the, the Q&A, which I agree with, is like, you guys haven't had time to play this. There's no, you theory crafters coming out, haven't come out of the woodworks. The teams haven't been discussed, uh, d uh, discovered. And like right. your, your experience with it was different than mine. Like you were able to uh, target uh, B2 and right. you were actually able to do the first, uh, the first node. And you were actually able to do two four the, out of four. Special, right? I did a special mission and then I did a, a random combat mission four out of four. Right. So, and uh, it's, it's, there definitely is knowing what there's a, there's a whole thing. There's a learning experience. You got to know which units to go after first. What's the turn order mods. And of course that you need to have the right gear and relics. So there's a couple of things. I, but I think definitely there's probably 20, 25% user error, AK not knowing the appropriate way yeah. to just strategize throughout the battle. That's probably a part of it, but there still is definitely a hard gear wall. Uh, right. and, and with it all right and the, and the part of that is knowing what teams to use I think what a lot of people yeah, were really too, yeah. yeah was really discouraged on is that they ran in with their fully relic out of their <laughs> mind general Skywalker <laughs> yeah fully relic out of their mind no 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 <laughs> what the relic out of their mind let's say JKR team Jedi Knight Revan. oh yeah those two and, yeah and it's just like well they, they're not getting the bonuses they're not getting the hero bonuses they're not getting anything general uh, Skywalker I saw people lose a general Skywalker in the relic seven and stuff like that too okay but yeah but, so that's why i said that because i saw those like holy cow that's crazy <laughs> because the hero units get quite a bit of boosts and they do a lot better and it's just like certain even if they're relic third it seems like it's tuned for you know seven relics right it seems that would be the case yeah i feel like relic seven like I'd, it's just crazy gear 13 relic seven phase one whoo but like that's, correct yeah, team like, compositions with the correct strategy mm -hmm. in phase one in yeah. phase one, we're not talking phase two, three, or four. Phase one. I was expecting this difficulty in phase three, at least. Yes. I think that's what blew me away. It's like, wow, this is phase one. What does phase four look like? And they, I mean, and then the math, let's just talk about the math. Let's switch over mm -hmm. to the math, right? Uh, quick you, math. You, uh, quick math. Uh, I, I wish we need another song like that. Where are the memes <laughs> lately, man? It hasn't been a good meme song lately, man. It's been a while. Uh, quick math. Uh, you, you definitely need that on your Go XLR. You need to have that. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Talk about the math and why it just seems absolutely absurd with the, the you know, the 400 GP <sighs> Gill, 12 million, all that stuff. So this we, I mean, this this screenshot's been kind of circulated around a little bit. It compares uh, the various phase six and phase fours of the Hoth and Geonosis territory battle. So at the very end, like what you're going to be expected. So it's not numbers for everything in total. And again, as I said earlier, it comes down to a numbers game. And you're looking at this light side Geonosis at the bottom right. Just the total GP per member, not including the battles, uh, you need at least about 12 million GP with mathematically basically impossible to my knowledge to master the last phase uh but then if you compare it to the uh, what's the light side hoth you only need 2.5 million gp and some people have three times that in their roster almost right. so it's a it's a mathematics game and this kind of comes down to that question that genosis tv is probably tuned for a future where there's more characters in your roster more relics better six stop mod the purple greens whatever they might do sometime down the road um so I just right now lights at genosis with the numbers that we're seeing here at that bottom right. row it's just it's tuned for a whole different world that we're not existing in even the whaliest whale in the world yep seven only million. About seven million seven yeah million. yeah and and we we are veteran super fans you and i and yeah, yeah, yeah. we've probably even both of us have moved out of the dolphin category and oh, you, yeah. we're we, way we've out of moved that. out of the dolphin <laughs> category and we're at 5.3 now, yeah. That is nowhere near seven. I mean, it gets exponentially crazy as you approach seven, you know, and, yeah. and, and, you know, I would just say that probably the average veteran player that's been playing the game three, four years is probably four to five million, somewhere in that range. I mean, that's, mm -hmm. a, I mean, and if you're a new player, you know, you probably would, you get like a million GP a year, I would say. Something pretty, like that. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. 600,000 to a million a year. If you play free to play, I'd guess. Yeah, so uh, what is your guild doing? I'm just curious in the comment section if your guild is going towards uh, Hoth or for uh, Geo, uh, Genosis. I personally 
if this is a train wreck this time around, the second time around where it's just not fun, we don't even get close to 10 stars, I'm going to change my vote to Hoth. Is I really need yeah. the, I need the currency now. The currency. Yeah, because it's almost double the currency, and that currency really matters to get, uh, you know, I got to get Malik too. I don't yeah, have, yeah, a, yeah. I don't have a seven. I, both of them are about, uh, I'm about 150 total shards between the two of them, between both of them being at seven stars. And mm -hmm. I need that yesterday. I mean, I really need that yesterday. And here's the thing too. The next epic confrontation character that comes out. <sighs> don't talk about that. I need to be hoarding <laughs> or maybe, you know, I'm going to be really disappointed if, if, if I start hurting all the get one and get two currency and then. They just never do it again. Sorry, that they was said just. They don't have one planned anytime soon. A podcast or uh, it was in a forum post or something like the Q and A. So I don't think there's one planned for like the next three, four months. Oh, no, they're going to they're going to switch the road, yeah. to the the to, to launch two at the same time. Have thirty characters required. You know. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Who knows? Gonna, and then and then in six months from now, they're going to have a fifth a legendary type of event. You know, oh, whatever. Geez. You know, it it seems to be determined by a spreadsheet guy, not by what's logical or anything like that. It's like. How could we? Because make they this? know now we're gonna start hoarding everything. It's like yeah. okay, well now they're gonna get ahead of the game. We gotta find a new way so their hoarded resources yeah. don't matter. Once once we uh, figure out the the correct way to play the game, you know, and, and you, they're gonna change up the rules. So that's um, how they always do it. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, put down in the comment section what your guild is doing. If you're going for uh, Hoth or you're going for Genosis, uh, probably on paper, Hoth makes most sense for probably, I want to say, mm. 80, 90% of the guilds. And other than the novelty of doing it first, I don't even know if Genosis is worth doing other than. Only, w here's what I'll say save yourself the currency, get as much currency as you can, watch us suffer you can learn and maybe see if it's for you but uh, <laughs> i think that's probably the best thing let everyone else get all their currency and then we'll suffer go through it and then you can kind of see how difficult it is and figure from yeah. there if it's worth it and for i your hope guild. they i hope they don't determine the math based off of this round we haven't got yeah, to see yeah. it yet and no. until we can play all the way through then i could make a decision and mm -hmm. i hope that they use the metrics off the next one the one following this which is what's yeah. going to be like three weeks away probably, or a month away. I mean, it takes forever for it to come back. So anyway, mm -hmm. so, all right guys, uh, thanks for watching and keep on gaming.